Uh oh, it's time for another True Blue Apron review with your host, me, Wade Randolph. I'm gonna listen. I'm I'm trying to kick the energy up a little bit because I looked on YouTube and there's there's like a hun there's so many Blue Apron reviews. There's so many. I you're not sh you're not sharing it enough. Crispy catfish, split screen, again, I forgot to take it, and I did it the next day. It still looks okay. Uh, okay, let's do it. Preparation. Of course I fucking mentioned that I hated when they made you do zest, and uh, of course, I jinxed it. They made me do zest. Zest is a fucking bitch, and it doesn't taste. I swear to God, it doesn't taste. It doesn't. It doesn't change the taste. It's uh eight. It's eight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shh. I don't think it changes the taste enough to be worth rubbing a fucking lemon on a grinder for five minutes. What else did they make me do? They make you peel and mince the garlic. Oh, I should show you guys this. So, they make you peel and mince the garlic, so I bought this thing. <laughs> it's, like ze it's like zesting. Fucking, come on. So prep gets a... three? What about... Cooking. How was the cooking, Wade? <sighs> Fuck, man. They make you use so much olive oil. They First you use olive oil to cook the kale. And then you do more olive oil for these uh, grapes. And it's at a thin layer. A thin layer of olive oil. But, but by whose... What pan? So I use a fucking lot. A fucking lot of olive oil to cook the rosemary. Rosemary is just these little leaves. It's a spice. So you had to fry those for some reason. And then all they were, and that took like five minutes, right? And you wasted all this oil. And then they were just a uh, gar garnish. They were just a garnish. I don't think you could taste them at all. So it's like, what? S stop. Stop making me do... Stop making me do stuff like that. Cooking is a bitch for this one, and it gets <sighs> three three stars. I don't know. Ah. Wade, yeah, prep and cooking were moderate, but how did it taste? I, I run run to ya, cause I'm about to break it down. It tasted great. It was great. So good. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> you made the fish in butter. It just tasted like butter. It was like eating butter. F five out of five for taste. Boom. What you wanna do, ya? Oh, I should talk. Well, first let's do the the card readability. <laughs> Um, I should tell you guys how I store this stuff. Um, incorrectly. I don't do anything. I basically plate the dish twice. And then I throw one in the fridge. And then, when I want to eat it, the next day, I put it in the microwave for three minutes. I don't know why three minutes. Well, I guess I do know why. It's because I tried two minutes and that wasn't enough. <laughs> Reheatability gets, um, it was fine. It's weird to reheat fish. Fish is like, fish is borderline to eat anyway. Uh, but the next day, it was fine. It wasn't as buttery. I guess a four. I don't know. So overall, is a, you know, it's fine. It was catfish. 
Like, I, you know, I don't like fishes that much. I will say this. Don't do the shrimp. The shrimp tastes like dirty Los Angeles tap water. Overall, listen, the first time I ate it, it was great. Five out of five. The reheated one was kind of bland, you know? So I'm going to give it a four out of five. Four out of five for crispy catfish. Our sponsor this episode is MeUndies. Uh, that's the softest underwear. And if you're not satisfied, you can get a free one. MeUndies.com. Thank you.